Michael O'Connell was doing construction work on his friend Steve Addison's property in Marizzo Monday morning when all of a sudden he saw a whale stuck on the reef. Immediately, he, along with his friends, dropped what they were doing, called the proper authorities, and rescued the beaked whale. But that wasn't the only rescue that day. One of O'Connell's friends also rescued another beaked whale, also in the Marizzo area. And yet there was another report of a beaked whale in Marizzo, but that one didn't make it alive. According to Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts, these types of whales generally live in open ocean or in deep water. Tibbetts adds that beaked whales are associated with underwater sounds, such as sonar, which have caused them to beach in the past. O'Connell's hoping that's not the case. You really can't speculate on what happened. It's unfortunate all three of them uh, beached themselves. We're lucky to get two of them back out. Um, so, uh, you know, who knows what's at fault there? Uh, it's kind of... Unless you know all the facts, you don't, you don't know. So. so could the incident with the whales really be linked to sonar testing? KUAM News spoke Friday with Captain Shane Byrne, the Commodore of Destroyer Squadron 15, who confirms that they had sonar exercises during a multi-cell exercise. The training is described as an exercise designed to assess combat systems, improve teamwork, and increase warfighting capabilities in the 7th Fleet area of responsibility. Participating in the exercise for the first time was the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Nearly 2,400 sailors, eight ships participated in the exercise in and around waters near Guam from March 23rd through the 27th. We did do some sonar training uh, while we were out here. Uh, for We focused some training on anti-submarine warfare. Uh, we also focused on anti-surface warfare and air, -air defense uh, warfare. So all the key core warfighting skills in the Navy, but we did do some sonar training, yes. So if sonar was used in the exercise, which started this past Monday, the same day the beaked whales were beached, could there be a link? According to Joint Region Mariana spokesperson Lieutenant Tim Gorman, he does not believe it is related. He adds the sonar testing was conducted at 10 a.m. on Monday, 15 miles northwest of Upper Harbor. He says, however, the Navy is waiting for test results from the Department of Agriculture for final determination. We should note the beached whales were reported to authorities at 1030 the same day. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.